Hello guys and gal, I'm me Mudahar and welcome back to more Isolation, the Jeff the Killer Experience extravaganza and uh, oh, oh, what's going on here? As you all could easily tell, that was a little glitch in the system, but we are back with uh, <laughs> some uh, isolation. Now, it's using ib music if you forget. Oh, wait, don't go back in there. Don't go back in there. Wait, what if I lock the door this time? Door is now locked. See, there we go. Bang, bang. Now, nothing can assault us here. See? So uh, basically, we're continuing off from where we left off, and Jeff assaulted me last time very violently, but I'm about to do this. All right, something behind the tree. I will take it. And I found the ripped note. 23. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He's trying to get in. i got to hide myself. There's a closet in the corner. See, it doesn't even have the time limit, man. Of course you want to hide in the closet. Is he gone? I need to get out of here. Fast. Yeah, dude, gotta go fast. And there's no sprint key in this game, actually. See, like the other uh, games, you had this, uh, you can hold down the shift key and you'd run a little faster. Here you don't. Uh, I will unlock the door and go through. And uh, apparently I actually got through it, so I'm gonna save the game here in uh, save file 3 and continue on with my gameplay here. So, let's go down over here. Let's delve deeper into the puzzle. Now, I will tell you right now, as far as uh, Game Maker games go, this does actually have some production value. Like, if you played Zero Oni, ooh, there's some blood on the fucking bed there. These sheets are dirty, aren't they? My father liked to isolate himself. My father liked to isolate. I bet he did, man. I bet he did. But he also liked to read, like, sick fetish shit, too. There's something... That you know what? I'm gonna leave it right now. I'm gonna save the game, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys take a wild guess what it could be. Okay? Could there be a giant? Um, could there be a million dollar prize behind there? Could you have a new Toyota? You know, fucking Prius behind there, or could it be fucking? Uh, oh, it's a suicide rope. Oh, wow, that's that's dark as shit. I guess that's how my dad died. I might use this on myself. This is no. What? I didn't have a choice. Okay. All right. Rule of thumb: Don't grab suicide ropes. I need his passcode. Alright, well, one of them is obviously 23, because that's the code we got. And I'm going to leave the uh, game over here, so hold on. Uh, Got to do like a billion ellipses before we continue, so let's go on through. But yeah, uh, there was not a new Toyota fucking Prius behind there. There was actually a goddamn suicide rope, and you kill yourself upon usage. Uh, look up. Watch. What could be outside the window, okay? The fucking clown from It, or... I don't know. Fuck... This guy's so red. <laughs> oh shit. It's goddamn handprint, man. Every time I look into the goddamn thing, it's like the face palm there. A dry sink with dead bugs in it. Ugh. My father would go piss in this. T well, no. Nah. No. Nah. What? What the fuck is in there? A bloody bath? Well, that, that's not really a horror site. No. What the? What? Dude, that's not scary. I'm gonna go file safe four there. I thought that was gonna be scary for a second. Okay, don't touch the suicide rope, Mudahar. Not last thing you want is that fucking rope. Hmm. Let's go inside over here. Let's see what this place leads me to. This magical land of wonders. Now, right, what's this? Well, I can't grab whatever's on the table there, even though it's fucking looking like an... That's what I kind of hate about these games. Sometimes they uh, fuck around with the tile set so much that you think it's an actual fucking item, but it's not. <coughs> Clock solves at uh, 12 o'clock. Oh, no fucking handprint this time? Nah. Nah. You can't ever wonder if I walk between those two tables, Jeff would come by and, like, fucking cut me in half through him. Could that be a possibility? Man, that'd be a fucked up possibility, but it'd be also an amazing possibility. You never know. Oh, what? Hold on. I, I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like if I take the wrong path, I'm gonna get fucked so hard. These boulders are unmovable. You need a way to get... Well, that's what you need the fucking HMs for, okay? Alright, you need to get them badges, them HMs. Alright, it's a whole complicated procedure, man, okay? All right. You gotta you got to do a billion things. There's a piano. I'm gonna use that piano. I've got to check this place. What the fuck is this in the middle? Seems like a weird contraption. Let's see what's on the computer. Obviously nothing. Shelf is empty. Jeff is holding my father's favorite music. I feel like his dad's fucking Jeff, man. 
Like, see, the thing is, the game's made well, but it's not really appealing to the whole uh, origins. I know it's based off of it. Hey, what was that? There's something at the end of the shelf. Of course, get it. Found a rune key. Oh, did I now? See, like, it, it has that whole Jeff the Killer vibe to it, but it's like there's a whole story that Jeff the Killer is given. I don't, I just don't know why that is never being used to its full effect. You know, I, I mean, like, the music is nice. The, the visuals are definitely nice for a game like this. But uh, I feel like the storyline that's given to Jeff is not used. Uh, don't fucking press the button. What happened if I press the wrong button? Tell me what the fuck could happen. Oh, oh wow. Oh my god. This fucking JPEG up here. See, like, the first time I got kind of, I, I got, I, that hit me, okay? Because it was like, it was like, it's like the jump scare was delayed, you know? Like, you were like, right now, what the hell? You can just walk through walls? What the fuck? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, the collision detection needs a little more work here, but this game isn't exactly full on. Is this inventory? Yeah, I don't have a. Okay, apparently that room key doesn't get all the way through. What the fuck kind of a house is this? There's a blurry reflection in the picture. Oh, what, Jeff? Oh, man, really? Oh, dude, I thought it was going to be something different. I thought Santa Claus was going to come out of there, man. See, like, if that's the only scared Scott, at least it could do is, like, try to change pictures, you know? Don't get me wrong, it's still better than that Jeff the Killer game we played with the whole, uh, you know, handgun usage and everything. Alright, let's go in there. Door's locked. You need the basement key. I feel you. Alright, what is here? What's, what's, what, what do I got here, huh? Well, there's obviously something going on there, and I feel like, oh, there's no save here. Wow. Look at fourth picture? Let's try doing it. There's the blurry of like... I don't know what the fuck it might have been, man. It's Jeff. Is it trial and error that I got? I feel like I might have to do a trial and error session here. Go the fuck up here. Let me save the game. I mean, the story uh, it, it's compelling, but I, I'm 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 sad that it's not using the it's not using anything to do with Jeff the Killer really. It, besides that, and the fact that he does actually chase you. You know, just saying the words "go to sleep" isn't a scary man. My mom used to say that back when I was a kid. Mudahar, go to sleep. Yeah, you can see me shitting bricks. There's something behind the picture. Sure, I'll take it. I found the Loomis note. Let me read it. H I D E hide. What the fuck? What the fuck do you want from me? You should have took every precaution. Like he doesn't even come through and try to kill you. That's the sad part about it. You know, like he doesn't actually try to move his ass in there and kill you. It's just so. Hold on. Do I have to? Do I have to lock the door behind me? Do I have to do? What do I gotta do? Well, I can't. I can't move this. Oh, I should. I hit the wrong one. Watch. Well, it doesn't really have that scare factor anymore once you see the picture for the billionth time. You know, once you memorize it. Oh, close it by accident. Oh, close it by accident again. Double fail. Maybe I go to the piano? Maybe the piano has something to do with it. Nope, piano's got nothing. Am I being trolled right now? I feel like I'm getting trolled. Alright, so, one of the things that I've uh, discovered is this one little room over here, which um, is contrasted to this room. This room doesn't really, this room is more of the paintings, which I don't really know what to do. This room actually has Jeff inside of it, and as soon as I go inside here, Jeff kills me. Now, one of the things that I have to do, and I feel is definitely go keep on going back and trying to play around with those paintings. 
And uh, that's just a little status update on the uh, <laughs> situation over there. But uh, yeah, the game's actually kind of just uh, reached a standstill for me, and I'm not really uncovering anything else over here, and I'm not going to do anything up there because fuck no. All right, one wrong move and I die. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to geek. I, I, I don't have a code. The only thing I have access to is this one room, which, let's be honest here, what am I going to do? So look at... There's got to be something different about each picture that maybe I'm supposed to get at. If I look at the third picture, there's a blurry reflection. Alright, unfortunately, I've been at this for about 20 minutes now, and I don't think there's going to be any progression past this point, because what I'm supposed to do is, if you've noticed, I cannot save the game here, which means this is going to be a pretty intense event, and I was supposed to lock this door, but uh, I can't actually lock it, so by going up to the uh, painting again, going to the third picture, obviously looking at the note, even if I leave it be, I'll try it, uh, I found it, the Loomis note, not I found it, it'll say hide, you know, what the fuck? What the fuck do you want from me? And you should have took every precaution. But uh, I can't actually lock the door, so I'm going to not be able to finish this as of now. So, uh, yeah, um, maybe I'll try to get a better version next time. But if you guys can help me in the comments below, please let me know what to do in the comments below over here. Uh, I think we've came across a game bug or some issue. But uh, yeah, interesting game so far, but I've been digging around 20 minutes trying to find something. But yeah, this is what's happening with isolation. So uh, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. I'm sorry I couldn't get you a lot of uh, progression there, but what we did do is we found some, uh, we found out what his father had done to himself, and uh, we came across some more spooky stuff going on in the house. But uh, I think we're almost reaching the end or somewhat, because we're about to build up to this thrilling end. Maybe the father is Jeff. I don't know. Maybe we are the son of Jeff, like the son of Chucky. But that being said, this is me, Moodhar, and I am out. Thank you.